the cake network too. I think I was on the super poker skin. I was up to 1020. That skin. That's the cake network. And uh, Phil Locke was on the Unabomber skin. I played him on the cake network after Black Friday. <laughs> Kitty plays Ace Queen better than I do. I'll tell you that. Kitty, very good player. Very That's strong. for sure. Kitty quote, very good player. Take very care. strong coach. He got care. very strong coach. I know her coaches. They're very strong players. Absolutely. Kitty quote, very strong. I've only played against one of them, and I've had a podcast with the other, but his reputation precedes him. Dude, watching these massages go around the table, I'm like craving a massage right now. My shoulder seems so t- And I want this dude to just come by and just do what he did to Kitty Kwan and this other homie that's in seat nine. Yeah. yeah, just rub out my right shoulder because this is where I hold the stress. All right here. The bad beats. The ace is getting cracked two times yesterday while the software that I was playing on needed an update. And I felt like such a D-Gen Wayne. I played for about two and a half hours on glitchy ass software, five tables. And I would, I had a like, and like, I probably would have quit after 15 minutes and just watched the basketball game that was on, which was a good game. It was Utah and Denver. But like, I literally got my aces cracked versus ace king for, I was playing two five. And I think it was like 120 big, so like 600. So immediately I was down like 600 and then like ended up playing in two and a half hours and was down to like down 1400 in the session, but it only ended up losing like five. So I felt like I won. And like I, after the session and like when I was about to quit, I was like, man, you were such a DJ. And like the software that I played on said that was going to be an update at one in the morning because like it was so bad. But I'm thinking, like, dude, you just, like, couldn't have just thrown in the towel and waited to play the next day. Like, you you were playing on a software that was literally glitching. Like, it was glitching so hard. Like, I wasn't even sure if certain hands were going to fold out when I was in them. Like, it was just gambling. Stop. Like, (laughs) dude, that's much as D-Gen I am. Like, literally, the the hand could have just been folded and mucked because the software was so, like, the software was horrible. It needed some sort of, like, like, if it was my car, I would have taken it to Longo Toyota. I couldn't have just quit for one day, Wayne. Yeah, It's a crazy hand. And he's got a set, and the other dude, how has a straight. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we better get to this hand. Money's getting piled in here. The heart slowed it down. Wow. Man. That's a really slow turn. Maybe he sense that something's wrong. Again, Andy has a lot of experience with the live reads. And Andy doesn't like you know, that that turn card completed all the draws pretty much. The flushes. And now even if uh, Howe in the blue shirt had something like Queen 9, he got there. So literally like all the draws got there. Andy's so lucky that Hal just check called this flop. Because if Hal would have raised this flop, Andy would have got it. I'm pretty sure got it all in on this flop. If Hal would have made it like 60K, Andy would have made it like um, 200K. And we and Hal would have just been all in. On the flop. And Hal would have won. Andy got so lucky that, he, that Hal did not raise this flop. About half pot bet, a little over half. Andy's gonna, Andy's gonna snap, pay it off. 
I mean, Andy only has to be good here 25% of the time. Yep, there, there it goes. And maybe that was a time chip, actually. I think it was, that a, was time a time chip, chip. yeah. It's just like he's counting the combinations he can beat, and is he going to be good, like, you know, 30 percent ish? In Andy's shoes, these are the most brutal hands to be on camera. Oh, he looks like he's going to fold. Sick. Sick. Andy stacks poker, ladies and gentlemen. Well, how does he fold there, though? Because it's a three bet pot. Like, that's not, like, there's a method to his madness. But, like, to be honest, for me, that was more of a call than when um, it was a hand versus Alex and Alex three bet the river. He had trips. Yeah, in a vacuum, but like. So the thing is, like with with the live settings, like we're not there. We play the live with the bike. We know we you can't see everything, and we need to talk to the players. Which is why you know ask the players all the time to come on PokerCraft to talk about the hands they played in because you just like literally don't know what they see. I know, like when I play on live with the bike, some of the commentators were saying stuff. I'm just like, dude, like you don't see what I see, <laughs> and we're not always right too. You know, 